In this video, we present two iterative methods to compute moment forms for subdivision curves and surfaces. Using our new approach, we compute centroid and inertia defined by sets bounded by catmull clark limit surfaces with unprecedented accuracy. Here, the results are shown for the unit cube. In the second example, four unit cubes are glued together to form the control mesh. The moments of up to degree 2 defined by the smooth catmull clark surface are listed. The digits in the shaded area should be ignored. catmull clark surfaces are the de facto standard in the entertainment industry. For instance, all 3D models in Pixar movies are of that type. The moment formulas allow to perform surface deformation subject to preserving volume and centroid. Secondly, physical animations with increased realism are possible. The previous approach from 2014 identified the general refinement equation for the moment forms. There are essentially two cases of interest. First, the homogeneous refinement, where regular patch is subdivided into a number of smaller regular patches. In the homogeneous case, the moment form has to be identified as an eigenvector to eigenvalue 1 of a linear mapping denoted by A. The second case of interest is the refinement of a patch adjacent to a non-regular vertex. Here, subdivision yields a number of smaller regular patches and one non-regular patch. In order to solve the moment form for a non-regular patch, one would previously have to solve a system of linear equations. The limitations of the mentioned approach originate in the size of the linear system. For instance, the inertia form for a catmull clark valence 3 patch results in a matrix of dimensions 24k squared. Additionally, the matrices are non-sparse. Here, we display the matrix for the loop inertia homogeneous case. The second example shows the non-zero coefficients of the linear system that determines the catmull clark valence 3 centroid form. The limitations of the previous matrix-centered approach are summarized here. For loop surfaces, the inertia forms were intractable, and for catmull clark both the centroid and inertia forms were out of reach. Next, we present the two iterative methods that yield accurate solutions for those and many more applications. In the homogeneous refinement case, the search for the eigenvector is carried out by the power iteration method, originally conceived by von Mises. Starting from an initial random vector, we repeatedly evaluate the right-hand side of the refinement equation with the most recent form normalized. In the non-regular case, the form is computed as a finite geometric series. The constant term c are the known contributions of the three regular patches. The convergence criteria of these iteration techniques are generally well known. In the context of subdivision, the requirement for the convergence of the power iteration is that the system matrix A has largest eigenvalue 1 with multiplicity 1 or 2. All other eigenvalues have to be in the open interval minus 1 to 1. We have tested and verified this condition on many common schemes. However, we can artificially create subdivision schemes that do not have the required eigenvalue structure. The graph shows the eigenvalues of the matrix for the area form of the four-point scheme. If the tension parameter exceeds 0.5, the largest eigenvalue is greater than 1. The animations demonstrate that for a tension parameter below 0.5, the limit curve results in a bounded area. A tension parameter of 0.55 results in a sequence of curves that do not enclose a converging area. Next, we discuss the convergence criteria for the geometric series that is applied for non-regular patches. The matrix in the series is Kronecker S. In the limit, the series converges to the inverse of the identity matrix minus Kronecker S if the subdivision matrix S has eigenvalue 1 with multiplicity 1 and all other eigenvalues in the open interval minus 1 to 1. The criteria is easily verified for all common schemes. The geometric series of forms has a simple interpretation. Each step adds a ring of subdivided regular patches. The remaining gap, that is the error, is ever de decreasing. The subdominant eigenvalue of S determines the rate of convergence of the geometric series. The smaller the subdominant eigenvalue, the faster the convergence. Here we display the convergence for loop centroid and inertia forms for valences up to 9. Machine precision is obtained after 30 steps. The new iteration methods feature a key exploit 
that we haven't properly pointed out so far. Neither the power iteration or the geometric series requires the construction of the system matrix. The linear mapping defined by the matrix is equivalent or comprises of the tensor transform that applies a matrix S along each dimension of a tensor M. This transformation requires only little additional memory that then is already needed for the storage of tensor M. In Mathematica, the tensor transformation is particularly easy to implement. We summarize. The iteration methods yield the Bowman forms of up to arbitrary numerical precision. For each scheme, degree, and valence, the tensors need to be computed only once. Our source code is available online. Finally, I would like to remark that the idea to look into iteration methods for the computation of moment forms was inspired by the study of the Bellman value function iteration mentioned in the excellent and freely available book on reinforcement learning by Sutton and Barthold. Thank you for watching.